Welcome to the United Stand. It's Manchester United v West Ham United. There's Louis Van Gaal's lineup. I've got a quick quiz question for you as well. We'll also be doing how we would line up. But first of all, we can't avoid it. We've got to thank and congratulate Manchester City for bringing some excitement to our season. We've now got three cup finals where it's in our hands because their season has fallen harder than Jack and Jill pissed down Mount Everest. I mean, we shouldn't be anywhere near top four, but they are obviously so bad, so much worse than us, that uh, they provided that excitement. So thank you so much for that. We've got a chance of top four, unbelievably. And uh, there you go. The quiz question, though, just whites in my head while I remember, who was, the last ma ma who was the last player to sign from West Ham United to Manchester United? If you can get this, I'll be really impressed. I'll give you the answer at the end of the show. So you've got a couple of minutes to think about it. But it's not a trick question, but you might get it, you might not. Let's just see. But anyway, Lou Van Howe's line up there. West Ham's last game at their ground before they moved to, moved to the Olympic Stadium. So they'll be going to be up for this, which I think is quite useful because they'll want to win and that will suit us. They've just been tonked by Swansea as well. They'll be lacking confidence. If we approach this like we did the last time we played them there in the cup, which was quite attacking, I think we can beat them because we found a lot of space uh, in their back four and I think we can do that again. Um, another, a slight downer might be the fact that Liverpool and Southampton won at the weekend and they're sort of pushing West Ham for that sixth position, which they will want to get. But on our day, we're better than them. We should win this game. There's Lou Van Hel's lineup. No real surprises, I don't think, there. Blind will come back in. Rashford will come back up front. And obviously, De Gea, Valencia, Smalling. Rojo will go to left back. Carrick and Rooney will come back into the midfield. Um, and he'll play Lingard in the number 10 position. I mean, really, he's about as useful as a, as a one armed tra trapeze artist with, a, with an itchy arse. But Vasser will be out on the right, who played quite well second half against Norwich. Martial hopefully back on the left. I mean, we don't know, but we hope he is back. He's key, really. And Rashford up front. Bang. There's my lineup. This is what I would do. I would have Borthwick Jackson in at left back. He's done absolutely nothing wrong when he's played this season. He came on in the second half, of, uh, came on in the first half of Darmian against Norwich, and he did well. I would pay Borthwick Jackson defensively. He's better than Rojo. There is a car crash waiting to happen, and in this sort of game, we don't want any car crashes at all, any accidents. We don't want Ro Rojo. He's useful when he's crossing the ball, but defensively, we'll have to defend. I don't want Rojo playing. You could say the same about Vozu Menza, but Valencia has done really well in the last few games. Yeah, he can't cross. You know, I've seen better crosses on Family Fortunes, but he will play it right back, and, and I can sort of accept that. Carrick and Rooney, are, are, you know, I don't necessarily agree with that, but it's going to happen realistically. But I would play Herrera. Yes, he gives the ball away, but he also plays with intent, and he plays forward passing. And when Herrera plays, we tend to win away from home. Norwich away, last minute came, came into the team at the last minute. Everton away, West Ham away in the cup. But the best performances we've had, not Norwich away, that was dreadful, but Everton and West Ham away, Herrera's played. I would play him. He links up with well with Mata. I wouldn't normally put Mata out on the right, but... He scored on against Norwich and he links up well with Herrera and then obviously Rashford and Martial. Um, Lingard's just not doing it for me and I think he needs dropping anyway. I think he needs a bit of a kick up the backside really because he's getting picked every week and the performances aren't good enough and I think he needs that kick up the backside to say, hold on mate, you've got to do better than that if you're going to play every week. So yeah, that's how I would line up for it. Results wise, I just think fourth place is going to happen now. Um, I've been thinking it for a while. Um, I thought City would drop points. I'm not convinced they're going to beat Swansea. Uh, so a draw wouldn't be that bad against West Ham because I still think we'll beat Bournemouth and City will drop points at Swansea. But I think we're going to win. I think it's destiny that we are going to get top four through playing an awful, awful season and we're going to keep Van Hel. That's something for another day. If you saw my rant on the Sunday show, go and watch that. That's not, I'm not talking about in the preview. This is about West Ham. Um, I think we're going to win. I'm going to go 2-1. I think we'll get a lot of opportunities and we will win. Um, and then I think we're going to beat Bournemouth and then we're going to get fourth place. And the permutations of that are going to rumble on all summer, but we can talk about that at another time. Get commented below. Give us your thoughts on the lineup. What you're thinking about everything. I, want, I really want to know what you're thinking about this uh, whole fourth place thing and what it means for uh, Louis Van Gaal because we're not getting Marino if we get fourth place, and I'm happy. I'm not happy about that, but I, I'm convinced that's the case. Answer to the quiz: If you went Carlos Tevez, you're wrong. Uh, we did sign Carlos Tevez. His previous club was West Ham, but he wasn't ever an official West Ham player. And his agent paid them £2 million to release him from that contract for him then to sign Man to Manchester United. He had that weird third-party ownership. The last player to properly sign in the sense of the word was 1989, Paul Ince. Congratulations if you've got it. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Like the video. Join us for the watch-along tomorrow. We'll be live about half an hour before the game and then live all the way through it. Really interesting. This is a cup final. I always wanted this West Ham game to mean something. Um, I, I mean, imagine if West Ham had beaten Swansea, Swansea at the weekend. We'd have been going like bang, bang, head-to-head -head for fourth place. 
Fortunately, the West Ham aren't doing that now. It's our cup final to win, and uh, I think we're going to do it. So join us tomorrow. It's going to be exciting. Last game at West Ham for them, and we've got to win it. You can't expect much more at the end of the season. So again, thank you to Manchester City for bringing some excitement to our season. See you tomorrow on the Watch Along.